class, it's time for another review video so that we can look back on all of the exciting things we learned this week. In our language arts wonders curriculum, we began and completed unit two, week one. And in math, we learned module one, lessons 27 through 29 of the Eureka program. Let's look back at what we've done. The first thing we talked about this week was our theme, which was using tools. Tools help us learn things and do things in our daily lives. Things like maps, binoculars, rulers, a tape measure, a magnifying glass, and a scale are all useful tools. Even a witch needs useful tools. Also taught you a brand new sight word. I can the see we Our new word was a or a. If the word is a or a. 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 I can see. A I can see a I can see a big pumpkin I can see a little pumpkin. I can see a little spider. I can see a medium spider. I can see a big spider. We studied the letter P. P, piano, P. practiced tracing the letter P, both uppercase and lowercase. The uppercase P has a straight line from top to bottom and a curve that comes back to the middle of that line. 
the lowercase p starts at the dotted line. And we start by drawing a straight line that goes underground. Then we have a curve. Let's do it again. Uppercase P. Lowercase P. We used Elkonen boxes to hear all of the individual sounds in a word. I taught you that you can hear the letter P at the beginning, middle, and end of words. This is a picture of a, yes, plant. Let's push up all the sounds in the word plant. P, oh, ah, mm. Plant. The letter P and the P sound is at the beginning of the word plant. What is this a picture of? That's right. That's a picture of the word stop. Let's push up all the sounds. S t ah. The letter P is heard at the end of this word. St -op. What is this a picture of? You might have guessed it's a rug or a blanket, but it is a carpet. Let's push up the sounds in the word carpet. Ready? K -r -p -e Very good. The P is in the middle of the word carpet. In math, we explored the number 10. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We practiced many different ways to make ten. And we solve problems like this. Draw more smiley faces to make 10. First, we need to find out how many smiley faces there are. Let's see, we've got one, two, three. Let's keep drawing and count while we draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have a total of ten smiley faces. You practiced understanding story problems and using pictures to solve them. This story problem says, Ted had three blue cars. Then he got two red cars. How many cars does he have? Let's color them to match the story problem. Three blue cars, one, two, three, and two red cars, one, two. Now let's count them all. One, whoops. One, two, three, four, five. I used a counting path to count them. There's five total. And finally, you learned about something really cool called math stairs, which show you the sequence of counting. Look, now that we've written the numbers along the bottom, and drawn the correct amount of cubes, it looks like a staircase with one cube adding each time. And now this teddy bear can go up them. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you for watching this video, students, and thank you for another great week. Good luck on your quizzes, and I will see you soon.